Little kids should be doing whatever they can that's productive and useful as young as they can. Like if you have a two-year-old who's just toddling around, you know, you can get that two-year-old to set the table. We used to have our kids do that. It's really funny to watch because right? the table's like a foot and a <laughs> half above their heads. You know? right. So, you know, you give the two-year-old a knife, not a sharp one, obviously. That, that's a different psychological yeah, game. You can save that for next time, Peterson. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, and you say, okay, go put this on the table. No, they can't exactly put it beside the plate because they can't see right. the damn plate. Right. But they're, the kids are actually, if you're careful with them and you, you adjust your expectations to their level of developing expertise, that's called the zone of proximal development, by the way, they're, they're more than happy to, to comply because it helps them develop and move forward and they have a really powerful instinct for mm -hmm. that. You know, and with kids it's also interesting if you if you watch them very carefully you can see when they're ready for the next task, you know. And then also the kids, you know, people talk a lot about self-esteem, which is a it's very badly conceptualized self-esteem because it it's come to mean you should feel good about yourself, which I don't believe. I think you should feel good about who you who you could be if you got your act together. <laughs> and you shouldn't be feeling so good about who you are now in your sorry state. It's like, what the hell, man? You're 17. Don't be feeling too good about yourself. Get the hell, get your act together. And see what you could be. And feel good about your trajectory. Yeah. That's way different. But also your competence. And so, like, even with little kids, is they know they're being taken care of. They have an existential debt to their parents. It's like if you allow them to be useful and encourage them to do things, then they get to pay off that existential debt. And then they can see that they're contributing members of even this small society. And it's no lie. 